Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to use double angle trigonometric identities to prove the following trigonometric identity, which is sine 2x over sine x minus cosine 2x divided by cosine x will give me secant x. So, let's prove it bit by bit. So, for sine 2x over sine x, so sine 2x by using the double angle identity will give 2 sine x cosine x over sine x. Minus, okay, so now for this one, cosine 2x, we want, cosine 2x, there's a lot of ways to, to expand it. So now we want to expand such that we can eliminate this cosine x at the bottom. So cosine 2x, to extend it, we will can, we can use this formula. So cosine 2x equals to 2 cosine 2x minus 1 over cosine x because later if you expand we can cancel this out so for here this is what we get when you expand so from this side we cancel this one out from the top and bottom we get 2 cosine x now for this let's break break this down so so 2 cosine square x over cosine x so equals to 2 cosine square x over cosine sorry about that cosine x minus 1 over cosine x now we let me sorry about that so now this one we can cancel out cosine x and cosine square x so therefore equals to 2 cosine x minus so this one is 2 cosine x so this one minus times minus will give me plus so plus this one 1 over cosine x so now let let me erase this and write this thing at the top Sorry about that. Okay, I'm almost done. So let's write at the top first. 2 cosine x minus 2 cosine x plus 1 over cosine x let me oh, I can erase this so this one will cancel each other out leaving me 1 over cosine x 1 over cosine x can be written as secant 
Therefore, we can say that we have already proved that sine 2x over sine x minus cosine 2x over cosine x will give me secant x proven already so now we have already come to the end of this video if you have any more questions you can feel free to drop me a comment and i will reply to your comment thanks so much for watching the video and please stay tuned to more of my videos <laughs> thanks so much and have a nice day